One of the ways we're going to learn how to play all of the triads and learn to play them on all possible different pi root pitches is to practice playing them around the circle of fifths. So if you recall, the circle of fifths is a sequence of intervals of fifth. So starting on a C, if I go down by a fifth, I get to F. Go down by another fifth, I get to B flat. Another fifth, E flat. Now, I can go up by fourth, and that's the same as going down by fifth. So I might go to an A flat, D flat, G flat. Same note as F sharp. That's about where we can start thinking in terms of sharps. B, E. I'll start going up. A, D, G. And now we're back on the C. So I kind of kept going down by fifth, but eventually I ran out of keys. So I keep it uh, sometimes going up by fourth, sometimes down by fifth. And I can do it in the opposite direction too. I can go up by fifth, up by another fifth, and go around the circle the other way. So the way I want you to practice triads here is using all major triads first. Start with a root position C major and play the root of the triad in the left hand. So you have the three notes of the major triad in the right, root in the left. Now, we're not just going to go from a root position C major in the right hand to a root position F major in the right hand, making big jumps like that with our hand. Rather, we're going to move as smoothly as possible between C and F major, retaining the common tone and moving the other two notes by step. So let's see how that, that works. C, E, and G are the notes of the C major triad. F, A, and C are the notes of the F major triad. They both share the pitch class C in common with each other. So what I'm going to do is starting with that root position C major, keep the C in my thumb, the other two notes are going to both move up by step to their nearest neighbor notes that are in the F major triad, which would look like that. Now C, F, A, second inversion in the right hand with this bass note on F down here. Now I'm going to do the same thing going from F to B flat. The common tone between an F major and B flat major triad is this F. And so these two are the other notes that are now going to move up by step to the notes of the B flat major triad. In this case now in first inversion. And I'm basically going to keep going B flat major now to E flat major. B flat is the common tone. These two notes are going to move up to the notes of the E flat major triad. One thing that can help you if you're looking for the common tone, when you're going the counterclockwise around the circle of fifths, so you're going from C down to F, down to B flat, down to E flat, the chord you're starting on, so now I'm on E flat major, I'm going to A flat. The one I start on is going to be the common tone note. So E flat, the root of the chord I'm starting on, is the common tone between E flat and A flat. Like that. All right? And I can just keep going from A flat to D flat. Notice every time I change my inversion, here I'm on a first inversion, now I'm on root position, F sharp, G flat. Now I go to B, second inversion, first inversion, E, root A, second inversion D, first inversion G, and now I'm back on a root position C major triad, an octave above where I started. So by continually moving up like this, I'm eventually going to end up an octave higher. I'd like you to practice not only on the major triads in this method, but also minor. So C minor, F minor, B flat minor, E flat minor. The same common tone is, it's the same common tone between the major and minor triads. The difference now is that the third is lowered uh, between them. So here's E flat minor going to A flat minor, D flat minor, G flat F sharp, B, E, A, D, G, C. What this is going to do is help us to practice a common root motion of fifth that we're going to see a lot in the chord charts we're going to be reading. This is going to help us practice those common progressions, those common motions, as well as get the major and minor triads practicing, uh, us practicing them in all of the 12 possible root pitches. So that's moving counterclockwise, going from C to F to B flat on the circle of fifths. We can also go clockwise from C to G to D. So let's see what that looks like. Again, starting on the uh, root position C major chord. All right, starts on C. Then I'm going to go to G. Now, 
G is the common tone. So in this case, when we're going this direction clockwise on the circle of fifths, the common tone is the root pitch of the triad we're going to, not the one we start on. So C we start on, G is the common tone. The other two notes move down. So notice, when we're going this direction on the circle, we're gonna be moving downwards, G major. D now is the common tone between G major and D major. The other two notes are gonna move down to their nearest neighbors. A is the common tone, going now to A major. Next one is E major. E is the common tone. E. B is the common tone, going to B major. To F sharp. D flat. A flat. E flat. B flat. Notice, I started up here, I kept going down little by little by little until I reached the C major in root position an octave below. So this exercise works in a very similar way to the way we did counterclockwise around the circle where I keep changing the inversion. I start on root, then I go to first inversion, second inversion, and now I'm on to first inversion again. So it goes through a cycle of the inversions. Of course, we also want to do this on the minors, C minor, G minor, same common tone, just those notes differ. D minor, A minor, E minor, B minor, F sharp minor, D flat minor, A flat, where we going next? E flat minor, B flat minor, F, and then C an octave below. So I expect you to be able to do the major and minor versions both clockwise and counterclockwise around the circle of fifths.